Hi there, good morning. My name is Kate Corain. Uh, I am co-founder of Seed Wellness. I'm also uh, a local yoga teacher from Seed Yoga. Uh, I um, wanted to create a half an hour yoga sequence for you today. Um, it's aimed for runners, um, people who have been running for a long time or people that are running uh, maybe for the first time in a while due to lockdown. Um, we can't get to our gyms, so lots of people are taking to the streets. Uh, the countryside, the woods, um, to get their cardio fitness in that way. Um, I, for one, am feeling the impact on my body. Um, so this this uh, this class is all about um, focusing on the hot spots, including the, the lower back, uh, the whole spine, really, um, hips, uh, thighs, knees, ankles, all those areas that you feel are really taking a hit uh, from running. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoy. So we're going to start lying down on our mats. You can lie down either with your legs extended in a sort of shavasana style, hand on belly, hand on chest, or you can have your knees bent. If you have any low back pain problems, um, you can start here where your feet are wide, your knees are knocking together to support each other. Um, and just close your eyes and just start to become aware of your breathing. Your inhale and your exhale. Um, and just allowing your body to sink into its shape. And just become aware of the rise and fall of the belly and the chest. You're just checking in with your own body, finding its own rhythm as you start to breathe more deeply, more fully. So on the inhale, breathe fully into the belly and the chest, all the way up to the top of the lungs, through the nose. So you're optimizing that in-breath as much as you can, breathing all the way up to the top and holding it for a second or so. Part the lips and then let the breath go. Again, breathing in through the nose, Filling the belly, filling the lungs, all the way to the top. Hold it for a second or so. Part the lips and let the breath go. Again, last time, breathing in through the nose, filling the belly, filling the lungs, all the way to the top. Hold, part the lips and let the breath go. So whilst you're continuing to focus on your deep belly breathing, this type of breathing, this full breathing, is just starting to trigger your uh, rest digest side of your nervous system, your parasympathetic nervous system, and just bringing you into a state of balance and calm. So as you're breathing in, you're breathing in fresh prana, fresh energy. And as you breathe out, you're letting go of any tension in the body and the mind. And just becoming aware of yourself in your body in this room, in this moment. Okay. So on the inhale, you can either keep the eyes closed or you can gently open the eyes, keep the gaze down, bring your hands to prayer and bring your arms to the back of your head and point those fingers to the back of the room and then point the toes and find maximum length in the body, all the way from the tips of the fingers, all the way to the bottoms of the feet. And on the exhale, bring your right knee to the chest, clasp your hands together around that right knee, <clears throat> and then just rock it out side to side. Breathing out. Inhale, bring your hands back to prayer, bring your arms above the head, extend your right leg to meet your left. Find maximum length from the tips of your fingers to the tips of your toes. Big breath in. Exhale, clasp your hands over that left knee, bring that left knee to the chest. And then exhale. Rock it out. Inhale, bring your hands over your head in prayer, extend that left leg to meet the right. Find maximum length in the body. Big breath in. Exhale, bring both knees into the chest, hug around those knees and rock it out side to side. You'll feel a nice massage happening in the lower back. Inhale, extend both legs down, bring your arms above your head in prayer, 
Use the core to bring your legs all the way to the floor. Find maximum length, big breath in. Exhale, bring that right knee back into the chest, hug around that right knee with your hands clasped, rock it out. And then from here, you're gonna hold on to that right knee with your left hand, open up that right arm, shoulder height, palm to sky, and then gently pull that right leg to the left, letting gravity pull it down, okay, until your left elbow is in contact with the floor. You've got a nice right angle with that right knee, and you're supporting underneath the right knee with your left hand. Okay, so from here, you can look right, you can breathe, remember to breathe, and then let that right knee fall, left, fall further down to the left side, but you're still supporting it. So you've still got that left hand just gently supporting that right knee. You've still got a right angle with that right knee. You're getting a nice spinal twist here. You're wringing out all that tension in the lower back. And breathe here. Big breath in and out. Inhale, push that right knee up to center with your left hand. And then you can bring your left, your right hand to meet the left, so you're hugging around that right knee. Inhale, bring your hands to prayer, extend that right knee to meet the left, meet, right leg to meet the left. Bring your arms above your head, finding maximum length in the body. Exhale, bring that left knee into chest, clasp your hands around the left knee, rock it out side to side. Breathing out. And then from here, on the inhale, Bring your left arm out, shoulder height, palm to sky, bring your right hand to meet your, the outside of that left knee and pull that left knee to the right side. Let it fall down to the right side until your right elbow meets the floor and you're supporting underneath that left knee with your right hand. And you can look left, you've got a right angle happening with that left knee. This is a really brilliant and beautiful uh, twist for helping to recalibrate the spine. You might feel some clicks and clumps happening here. So you're letting that left knee fall down to the right side, uh, letting gravity kind of do its thing, but you're still supporting underneath that, that left knee with your right hand. Inhale, push that left knee up to center with the right hand. Exhale, bring that right knee to meet the left, hug around both knees into the chest, rock it out side to side. And then on the inhale, bring your hands to prayer. Exhale, bring your Legs all the way down, extend those legs, bring the arms above the head, big breath in. Exhale, bring both knees into the chest, rock it out, and then push, hold behind both knees, push those heels skyward. Okay, so here you are holding behind either the tops of the legs or behind the knees, but either way, wherever your hands are, you're just trying to bring those legs towards you, pushing those heels skywards and bring those toes towards your face. Okay, so you're feeling this nice stretch in the back, back body, the backs of the hamstrings, all the way down the backs of the legs. Okay, and then from here, on the exhale, you're going to just bring your uh, hand, your left hand around to meet your right hand around the back of that right knee. Extend that left leg down to the floor. So it's an inch above the floor. So you're in your half uh, parangasthasana. So you can here, you can just start to rotate your both feet. You're bringing mobility and slow fluid to those ankle joints. And then push that right heel away from you. And on the exhale, slide your right, your hands and behind that right calf all the way up towards the right ankle. Straightening into that right leg. Lift the chest, bringing your nose towards your toes. Using the core. Okay. And on the exhale, you're going to release your head all the way down, drop that left heel, bring your arms, to, your hands to prayer, bring your arms above your head and extend that right leg down to meet the left, finding maximum length. Exhale, bring that left knee into the chest, rock it out, and then hold behind that left knee with your hands clasped, pushing that left heel away from you, and then you can just bring that right foot off the floor, okay? So you're straightening into that left leg as much as you can, Okay, and then from here you can just start to rotate your feet again, one way and the other, bringing that mobility into those ankle joints that take such a hit when you're running. Okay, and then straighten into that left leg, and on the exhale, just bring your hands, slide your hands up the back of that left calf, bringing your, your nose towards your toes, so you're really aiming to bring those hands towards the ankle, it doesn't matter how far you come up, 
It's all about finding your stretch. You're using the core here, and you're pushing into that left heel, bringing those left toes towards you. Exhale, release that right heel down, release your head down, release your left leg, extend that left leg all the way down to meet the right. Bring your arms above your head in prayer. Big breath in. Exhale, bring your knees into the chest, hug around the knees, rock it out side to side. Okay, so you've had a nice stretch of the hamstrings. You're gonna bring your hands behind the knees. Make sure that your knees and your ankles are connected to each other and just start to rock back and forth on your back. Okay, maybe the third or fourth time, you're gonna come all the way up. You're gonna cross your legs, okay? And you're gonna come into your stukas in your easy pose. Now from here, you're gonna see if you can roll straight over your legs. Now, if you can't do that, then you can just bring your legs out to the side and come up onto your hands and knees. The aim of the game is to come up onto your hands and knees on any which way feels good and comfortable and safe for you, okay? So here, I've got my wrists underneath my shoulders, my knees underneath my hips, in that sort of tabletop neutral spine. Okay, on the exhale, I'm gonna push into my hands, look towards my belly, in my Marjariasana, my cat cow. So I'm pushing away, I'm really feeling that sort of space that I'm creating between my shoulder blades. I'm looking towards my belly, crown towards the earth. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the gaze, lift the tail. Just making sure that you're plugging those arms. Lift your gaze up. Exhale, push away. So arching into the back, you're pushing through those hands and you're looking towards the belly, crown towards the earth. Inhale, lift the chest. Lift the gaze, lift the tail. Exhale, last time, pushing into your hands, looking towards the belly, feeling that nice stretch around the backs of the shoulder blades. Spread those fingers as well, by the way. This gives you a bit of a, a, a firmer base. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the gaze, lift the tail. Now from here, you'll just close your eyes and just have a little bit of a freestyle here. Just start to move your body in a way that feels good for you. It's called intuitive movement. It's really listening to what your body needs. Now, if you've already run, you'll be feeling the, you'll be feeling the impact in, your, in all over the body. So this can feel really, really good after a run. Um, but, you know, you can do this before a run as well. It just means that you're a bit more limited up before you go. Okay, so you're really just moving in a way that feels good for you. You can do figure of eights with your, with your torso. And you're just really trying to, you're aiming just to release the tension in the hips and the spine and the neck, the arms. Okay, and on the exhale, push back into, you're gonna bring your, uh, your, your bottom towards your heels, your knees are nice and wide, your big toes are knocking together. Exhale, you're bringing your forehead to the floor, your hands are extended, your fingers are nice and fanned, okay, in your extended child's pose. So you're pushing that mat away from you, okay? And on the inhale, you're gonna curl up, look towards your belly, as you come up onto your hands and knees and then wave all the way through. So on the exhale, you're gonna just bring your belly towards the mat, release the pelvis, the belly, the chest, all the way down to the floor. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, push really gently into your hands and lift up into a low cobra. Make sure that your elbows are tucked um, and your shoulders are nice and, and away from your ears. Exhale, come down. Bring your hands back a little bit, push through your hands, and bring your bottom back towards your heels in your child's pose. Exhale as you bring your forehead to the floor. Push those hands away from you. So you're finding length in those arms and you're feeling the stretch all around the backs of the shoulders. Inhale and look towards the belly. Come up onto your hands and knees and again, you're gonna just wave through. Exhale, bringing the, uh, lift the chest and then bring the belly and the chest down. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, push through your hands, shoulders away from the ears into low cobra. Big breath in, exhale, come down, tuck the toes. Bring your hands just underneath your shoulders. Bring your bottom back to your heels. Exhale and push up into your first downward facing dog of the day. Now here, uh, you're pushing your mat away, you're pushing your, heels, your, your hips skywards and you're gently pedaling into each leg, foot. You're bringing one, Heel down to the floor and then the other, bending into one knee and then the other, so you're pedaling it out. And again, you're feeling that nice sense of stretch in the backs of those calf muscles. There's various muscles there, including hamstrings, so it's really, really nice to do this, just pedaling into it, pushing those hands away from you. And then from here, just gently start to walk, really small steps. 
tiptoe your way to the front of your mat, coming up halfway. So you've got a flat back, you're looking to the floor. Uh, your hands are resting on your shins, you're not looking at your knees, so you're kind of holding your own weight rather than collapsing into this uh, half lift. So you're using the shins just to rest your hands so you can get a nice straight back that's parallel to the floor. And then on exhale, you're going to just hinge from your hips and allow your head to come down. And you can bend your knees as much as you need to here, okay? So you might have your knees really bent. Some people would never be able to touch their toes, and that's just their physiology, and that's fine. You know, it's all about just honouring your own edges. Inhale, curl up through the spine, so you're pushing through all, four, all four corners of the feet, and you're looking towards the belly as you bring yourself up on the inhale. Bring your arms above the head to prayer. Exhale, bring your hands down to your heart. Okay. Keep travelling all the way through, hinging from your hips, releasing your neck. Coming into your Uttanasana, your forward fold. Release that neck completely. Halfway lift. Inhale, flat back, pushing into those shins. Well, not pushing, resting your hands into those shins and then extending that, uh, that spine so it's nice and parallel to the floor. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees as much as you need to. Look between your legs. Inhale, curl up, looking towards your belly. Bring your arms above the head. Using your core to bring you up rather than your back. So protect your back. Reaching high. In your prayer hands, exhale, bring your hands down to your heart. <sighs> Keep traveling through. Exhaling all the way through. Releasing down in your forward fold, release the neck. Halfway lift, inhale to that back. Hands down, take a big step back with that right foot. Drop that right knee. So here you want to have your left knee tracking over your left ankle. You can release those right toes. Push through that left heel on the inhale and then push up. So you're going to cross your arms over and make a big circle with your, with your arms. So you're really finding the, the range of your shoulder joints. Exhale, come down. Inhale, cross your arms, push up. Big breath in, so you're feeling that opening of that front body as well. Exhale, come down. Inhale, last time, crossing your arms, pushing up. So you're in a nice low lunge here as you exhale, you're bringing your hands down. Now, this might be hard for some people, just this alone. So if this is the case, when you're in your low lunge, you can also maybe have some books, some books or some anything that can give you some height so you can, you can hold your hands here. But anyway, you come onto your fingertips, lift your chest, okay? And then from here, tuck those back right toes. And we're gonna get ready to do the same again. We're gonna come up into a high lunge, okay? So get ready to find your balance and your feet are nice and train tracks and they're hip width apart rather than tight rope where they're on that one line. So they're hip width apart. And on the inhale, you're gonna push through that left heel, cross your arms again. Coming up into your high lunge, exhale. And then bring, bend into that back right knee. Pull that, just make that, uh, tilt that pelvis. So you've got a nice neutral uh, tail, okay? And then I'm gonna show you from the front. So your hands are down by the side. It helps to give you the balance, okay? So you're cultivating balance here. You're building strength. And you're also feeling a nice stretch in that, that front, that right thigh muscle. On the inhale, we're gonna straighten into that left leg, push through that right heel, Bring your arms up. You can either come to prayer or just bring your arms to the, the shoulder width. Exhale, bend into that left knee. And we'll go down. Inhale, straighten into that left leg. Bring your arms up. Exhale, bend into that left knee. I'm going to come back so you can see. Okay, pushing into that right heel as well. Okay, inhale, you're going to bring those arms up, straight into that left leg. And then from here, you're going to stretch, you're going to sweep that left arm behind you and then bend back into that left knee. So you're finding that side stretch. So you're beginning to pull yourself frontwards and backwards. So you're not too forwards. So if you are like that, bring yourself back up. Okay. Inhale, straight into that left leg. Bring your arms up. Exhale. So you're finding a nice flow here. Tur so Bring your hips back so they're squaring them back up to the front of the mat. Inhale, exhale, bend into that left knee. Again, you're feeling a really, really nice stretch in that left thigh. From here, you're gonna ground down through that left, that right foot, okay? 45 degree angle. Inhale, bring your arms up. And then from the exhale, I'm gonna just turn around so I'm gonna mirror you, so stay where you are. So you drop that right foot back down, so it's 45 degree angle, then you're going to exhale, you're going to come to your warrior two, Virabhadrasana two, okay? 
So from here, pull the belly in, release the shoulders away from the ears, push into, push into the back, back edge of that foot, making sure that left knee is tracking over the left ankle. Okay, inhale, straighten that left leg, bring your arms up, exhale, come down. Inhale, bring yourself back up. And this time you're gonna spin back onto your uh, back right toes. And then from here, on the exhale, you're gonna bend into that left knee. I'm gonna swap back now, so just stay where you are. You're gonna spin back, you're gonna bring your, bend back into that left knee, and you're gonna bring that right hand on the inside of that left foot. It could be on your right fingers, or you can drop that foot, that hand down, okay? And then you can look up over your left shoulder towards your left hand. If that's too strong, you can just drop that right knee, okay? Or if you can, Handle this, you can push into that right heel and just notice you're getting all the stretch all around this glute area, all around that thigh muscle. And on the exhale, you can bring that left arm above the head. So you'll get maximum length between your left fingers and your back right heel. Okay, looking underneath your left arm towards the sky. Exhale, bring that left hand all the way down on the inside of that left foot. Okay, now here, you can push into that right heel. And again, you're noticing the stretch all around the inside of the legs. Such a brilliant stretch this and then you can drop that right knee, okay? Release those right toes. And then from here, you can just start to gently rock. Now, some people will find this really hard. It's not about, again, it's not about straightening into that left leg, it's about finding your own edge. This is called runner's lunge, so it's really great for it. Okay, so you're just gently, your hands are quite close to that inside of that left foot, and you're just gently rocking back and forth. So it's your own pace, okay? And then eventually you can just maybe push through that left uh, heel, bring your hands, just tread your hands towards you and just hinging from your hips, trying to keep your hips square uh, to that left leg and just look down so you've got a nice straight spine and just breathe into the back of that left hamstring, okay? Inhale and then tread yourself back, drop that left foot, hands on the inside, just around those hands, tuck those right toes, exhale, bring that left foot to meet the right in your down dog, and start to pedal into your dog. Okay? From here, on the inhale, we're gonna bring our right leg up to the side, in a split dog, and we're gonna look forwards, and we're going to bring that right foot in between our hands, okay? Drop the left knee, release the left toes. Inhale, cross our arms. And bring our arms, big circles in our arms, exhaling. Inhale, cross our arms, big circles with our arms. Exhale. Inhale, last time, big circles with our arms. So again, you're feeling that stretch in that left thigh muscle. Exhale, bring your hands down on each side of that right foot. Lift the chest, lift the gaze. Again, you might want to have blocks here if you feel like you need height, okay? Tuck those left toes. Bring those left foot, that left foot in towards your right a little bit. Bend into the back of that left leg. And then prepare to come up again, crossing those arms, coming up into your high lunge. Inhale. Exhale, here. Again, I'm going to come to the front of the mat so you can see. So my feet are trained tracks, so there's a nice kind of, yeah, hip width. I'm using my arms to help me balance. I'm bending into that right knee. Right knee's tracking over the right ankle. Okay. On the inhale, I'm straightening the right leg. Bring my arms up, either to prayer or send a shoulder height, shoulder, shoulder width. Exhale, bend into that right knee. Inhale, straighten up. Exhale, come down. Inhale. Bring your arms up, straight into that right leg. You're kind of pushing into that left heel, but you're just feeling strong and balanced. Your foundation is strong through that right foot. Left toes. Exhale, you're going to sweep that right arm back. You're going to twist from your mid core. Exhale, bend into that right knee, and then get that nice sort of side stretch. So you're reaching behind you with that right hand. Inhale, straighten that right leg. Exhale. Bend into that right knee. Inhale, square the hips to the front of the mat. Exhale, bring your hands down. So you're cultivating balance, but all the while you're really 
opening up your both side muscles here. Inhale, bring your arms up, and then ground that left foot, 45 degree angle. Exhale, come into your warrior two. Okay, inhale, straighten that front right leg. Exhale, pushing the outside edge of that left foot down into the mat. Release, pulling your belly in, releasing the shoulders away from your ears. Okay, from here on the inhale, we're gonna come into our reverse warrior. Okay, so you're gonna bring that left hand behind you, reach up with that right hand. Exhale, you're gonna spin onto those left toes. Bring your left hand on the inside of that right foot. You might wanna adjust your feet, maybe bring your right foot out to the right side a little bit. And then lift that left, that right arm up behind you. you can, again, you can drop that left knee if you have to. Looking up to that right, right, right hand. Such a good stretch. You'll feel it all again, all around the glutes, all around that kind of right hip. Exhale, bring that right arm over your head. You can also do your fingertips here. And finding that length between the top tips of the right fingers and the back left heel. Exhale, bring that right hand down on the inside of that right foot, okay? And then drop that left knee. Release those left toes. And again, just start to rock it out. You can come onto your fingertips here. Okay, so you can just gently rock back and forth, trying to keep your hips level to the front of your mat. Okay? Bring your hands quite close to the inside of that right, that, that right foot. So just rock back and forth a few times and you're just gently opening up that all around the back of that right leg. And on the exhale, you're going to tread your hands back, lift those right toes off the floor, coming onto that right heel and try and hinge from your hips. Exhale. So you're finding that you've got a nice straight back. And then you're just finding your edge here. And breathing into any resistance in the back of that right leg. Okay. Inhale, you're going to bend back into that right knee, tread your hands back, ground your hands, tuck your left toes, exhale, push back into your dog. And then again, just pedal into your dog, pushing those hips skywards, spreading the fingers. And then pushing each heel down alternately towards the, to, towards the mat. Okay. On the inhale here, we're going to roll over into our plank, drop our knees, release our toes, exhale, push back into child's pose. Bringing your head to the floor, bringing your hands behind you so that your palms are facing the sky and your knees are wide, your big toes are touching, and you can just rest in your child's pose for a few breaths. So as you breathe in, filling the side body with, with air, on the exhale, really sink yourself into the floor here. Just really let it go. Let the shoulders go, let the head go, let everything go. A few breaths here. As you get your breath back. Okay. And then bringing your arms back in front of you. So you're extending your hands, your arms, finding maximum, maximum length in your arms. Inhale, come up onto your hands and knees. Last downward facing dog, you just push back into dog. Okay, and you can just walk into dog. You're gonna lift that right leg up to the side, gonna come into pigeon, okay? So we're gonna lift that right leg up, keep those hips square to the front of the mat, and on the exhale, bring that right knee in between your hands. Okay, bring that right foot out to the left. Keeping your hips high and level. Imagine I'm putting a block underneath the right side of your, your hip. Okay, so your hips are nice and level. Okay, and then from here on the exhale, you can just start to wave into it. So inhaling as you come up, exhale as you come down, inhale as you come up, really spread those fingers, exhale, come down. You can just bring your hands, so your forearms are on the floor, you can bring your head down to rest on your tops of your arms or on the floor if that feels better for you. Um, again, you're trying to bring that left hip down towards the left side so you're not collapsing to the right side. It's really important. And you're going to feel that really nice stretch in your right hip all around the right glute. Beautiful stretch, especially for, uh, for runners who have been really taking a hit on the hips. And just stay here for a few breaths. And you'll notice on the inhale, you're just pulling all the oxygen in on the exhale. You're Body starting to yield. Breathe into the area of resistance on the right side. Okay. Bring your hands up. 
tuck your back left toes and then push your way back into your dog, walk your dog. Okay. And then from here, you're going to bring that left leg up to the sky and split dog, keeping your hips level. Push that mat apart and on the exhale, bring that left knee in between your hands. Release those right toes. You can come onto your fingertips here again if that helps. Okay, your hips are leveled in front of the mat. Imagine you've got something supporting you here underneath that left hip. Okay, and then exhale as you start to wave into your pigeon. Okay, then coming up. Exhale as you wave into it. Inhale, push through those hands as you come up. Exhale, come down. Coming down to your forearms. Again, you can rest your head on your arms or you can just move your arms out of the way and rest your forehead on the floor. Again, you're starting to really breathe into that right hip, right glute area, keeping your height so that you're falling, you're not collapsing to that left side, you're bringing yourself up so your hips are nice and level to the front of the mat. And you can try and just bring your left foot out to the right side a bit more without compromising your weight, without compromising your knee. And then breathe in. And then allow yourself to yield on the out breath. Breathing in. And then release just a little bit more as we breathe out. And last time, breathe in. And release on the out breath. And then from here, bring your hands back underneath your shoulders. Inhale, push up. Tuck your Actually, no, bring your, just release yourself down to your left side. So you're going to let your bottom fall to the left and you're going to sweep your right leg in front of you. Bring your left leg to meet your right. So your legs are bent. Bring your hands in prayer. Exhale, come all the way down to the mat. Keeping those legs bent. Ground those hands down by your waist. Bring your feet, tread your feet back to your bottom. Exhale, just push your hips high, skywards. So your knees are, should be tracking somewhere over your ankles and you're pushing through those hands. It's really nice, just again, it's just a nice final stretch for the front body, the thighs. Exhale, curl down, so you're coming down from the top of your back all the way to your lower back. On the exhale, bringing your knees into the chest, hugging around your knees and just rocking it out side to side. Okay. Now, just as a final twist, we're going to bring our arms out, shoulder height, palms to sky. Keep those knees nice and high. So maybe there's a right angle here with your knees. And on the exhale, allow those knees to fall to the right side and look left. Close your eyes. Breathe into this final twist. Inhale. Use your core to bring your knees up to center. And then drop your knees to the left, looking right. Exhale. Even here, you're going to feel the pull all around that kind of hip area. Your knees won't necessarily meet here. There might be a gap between your legs. You're not going to be here for very long. It's fine. If we have more time, uh, and if it was more restorative, then I'd say put some kind of bolster or pillow between your, between your legs, but we're not going to be here for any length of time. So just another couple of breaths here. And then on the inhale, bring your knees up to centre. And then from here, you can just bring your feet down to the floor. Uh, and then maybe bring your soles of your feet together here. Let your knees fall out to each side in your reclined uh, Sutta Baddha bring You can bring your arms above the head in prayer again. Last time to get that maximum length. So your knees are falling out to each side, your hands are facing up behind you. And then on the exhale, bring your hands back down. So you've got one resting on the belly, one resting on the chest. Breathe out. And then from here, you can extend your legs all the way down into Shavasana. And then spend a few minutes in Shavasana, just allowing your breath to be soft. Allow your body to be heavy. So just notice as you breathe on every exhale, 
your body just sink a little bit further into the mat. Just releasing all the way from the back of the head and the neck all the way down, the shoulders, the spine, all the way to the hips. And releasing all the way through the backs of the legs, all the way down to the heels. Allow your mind to be still. And if you can stay here for up to five minutes, that'd be great if you have the time. Certainly a couple of minutes. This is where all the energy of practice is setting back down. Our body is finding its shape and finding its rhythm again. So I'm going to leave you here in Shavasana. As I say, stay here for as long as you want to. Bringing that mind back to your breath when it starts to wander off with all the things that it thinks it needs to do. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, I hope you enjoy the practice. Namaste.